Hey, hello, you're stuck with Wolf Gorlick, a few minutes riffing on IT and IT security. Today, looking at uh, application workloads and zero trust. You know, those N tier apps, I used to love it when we would design N tier apps, right? The one, two tier, the web and the database, or the uh, three tier, the web and the business logic and the data layer, or the and, and you know what I'm talking about. And it always looks so pretty. You had the nice physio, everything lined up, it was all good until you actually built it or had to do segmentation or actually trace out who was talking to what and suddenly the web tier is talking to this and this tier is slooping around that and the data tier actually sometimes talks directly to the web tier except when it doesn't. Oh, by the way, we got some uh, ETL data warehouse here that talks to the middle tier and then for, you know what I'm saying, suddenly you got this big conglomerate mess of a diagram trying to explain what's going on. And you try and map it out and you put on a span port and you get way too many packets. Or you put on a NetFlow port and now you've got all the IP address information which is good but no actual information as to what's talking to where. And uh, it can be pretty tricky which is why traditionally we just went finger in the air. That looks like three tiers will have three different subnets or LANs, or VPCs, or whatever you're calling them these days. And we'll just let them talk to each other. So the tip for you is this, micro-segmentation is where it's at, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about why and where you do micro-segmentation. And the benefit of micro-segmentation is that it reduces the trust that we would place in these big, coarsely grained subnets, networks, VPCs. Um, because, because trust tends to pool in collections, right? If you've got a collection of IP addresses on a network, we are trusting that all those IP addresses need to talk to every other IP address on that network. And that's a lot of trust, <laughs> especially since we know if the bad guys aren't breaking in through the users, number one way, then the bad guys are breaking in through your web apps, number two way, right? And once they break into one server and suddenly you've got all these uh, trusted connections on one big network because when you try to do any sort of micro segmentation you looked at the spaghetti diagram you closed your browser in horror and stepped away from your computer and said oh my goodness who did this and why <laughs> just because of you're in that situation um, when the attacker breaks in the attacker can oftentimes talk to a whole bunch of things that shouldn't so what we need is a way to do micro segmentation and micro segmentation is something that seems like a basic fundamental but the problem with everyday basics is they don't scale well maybe you could in fact do micro segmentation segmenting around each particular host what host should talk to what host on what port and protocol using what application calls maybe you could do that if you're just responsible for one app but when you start talking about hundreds of apps that we're all running these days, it gets complicated. When you start talking about hundreds of apps that are running these days in multiple environments, on-prem, in this cloud or that cloud, um, in this subscription, that subscription, it becomes very tricky. Everyday basics don't scale. And that is the fundamental problem of IT security. Now, when you're talking about micro-segmentation, what you need is something that will do um, a few different things. One, will analyze not only IP address to IP address, but also port to port, and also um, web service to web service. So the ability to look within and say, okay, these calls naturally go there. That's number one. Good telemetry data. Thing you need number two is the ability to <laughs> crunch that data and model it for you. What does normal look like? Because basics don't scale and you don't want to be analyzing all that data yourself. You need some sort of data analytics component um, that will map all that out for you and give you some sort of display and allow you to say this is normal, this is not. Thing you need number three is the ability now to take that model and wrap policies around it. This web server should be able to make these calls to that instance. Um, and this uh, database server should be able to send data to that middle tier server, but not out to the internet. And no PCI or HIPAA data should cross these boundaries, right? Ability to do the policies. Thing you need number four is ongoing monitoring and the ability to course correct because people are still going to build apps, introduce things, not tell you, not document it, not do anything, and suddenly it's broken and it's going to be up to you as the owner of this micro segmentation solution 
to be able to catch that and modify it. So zero trust is about reducing trust. Currently, most of our trust exists because we have coarse grain things. We trust you because you're a user in a group. We trust you because you're an IP address in the network. The ability to get tightly grained uh, in regards to networking is micro-segmentation. If you're going to be doing micro-segmentation at scale, the thing that I argue is you need telemetry, you need analytics, you need the ability to push down policies and the ability to monitor and adjust those policies over time. Easy. It's not easy. What do you think? Are you doing this in practice? Have you had some successes, some failures? Comment on social media. Hit me up.